Okay, Mopar fans. Here we've got a 22 Scat Pack Challenger wide body. Um, that's the wide body package from the Hellcat. Um, electronic suspension, um, a whole nine, the foot wide tires on all four corners. Um, I'll have a story on those later. <laughs> um, uh, this has the Hemi Orange package. It debuted in 2022. And the reason why I liked it, because it really differentiated the car. And uh, you see the splitter guard on there? Um, you're supposed to take those off at the dealership. Um, I, I kept it on. as Well, I did take it off, but I painted it uh, yellow-orange, the same as the stripe, so that they would be matching. Because the splitter guards are bright yellow, it kind of didn't look right, so I painted it the color. It actually came off quite nice. And then uh, the only other thing I did was the, uh, the rocker stripe down low. I just put an orange tracer on there. Um, I put it on there just to see what it would look like, um, knowing that I could just peel it right back off. But when I put the rockers on, uh, the black stripe along with that, I kind of approximated what was on the hood. And uh, it's still on there. I kind of like it. <laughs> um, there's been a couple people that said it was too much, but not for me. I think it fits in with the factory striping that runs up the top of the car and around the bottom. So um, I really kind of uh, took a shine to it. And then... Uh, Here's the other thing that uh, was one of the main motivations for the purchase was this uh, orange striping. And then I went out on eBay and I found some Challenger Scat Pack uh, mats with a uh, orange striper tracer around the outside of it. And what that did is that plays in everything on the interior. And the reason why I did this is because I've been at car shows, I've seen the modern Challengers, and when they have just plain interiors, they just look blah. There's nothing to separate them from the other. And I'm not putting them down. They're a sharp interior and uh, uh, on all Challengers, don't get me wrong, but it's just differentiation. I come from the car business. I know what sells. I've been in it a long time. Uh, I was in the ordinary car business, and I'm now in the classic car hobby. Um, and, uh, well, in any event, uh, the orange calipers play in. And uh, super nice, high metallic. Uh, mineral gray or I forget what it's called the actual shade on it but uh, I want to tell you a story I went up uh, north and uh, I went to a show called uh, Mo Party up in uh, Kentucky Bowling Green Kentucky it's put on by Holly they have racetrack and they do big events out there so Holly Mo Party and then if you'll see here I was up at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with it and uh, really really nice I uh, loved taking the car out, but then I noticed my tires were gone. Uh, the Pirellis that came with it from the factory um, didn't seem to hang out very well, and I just kept losing traction on the back. So went to the local dealer, and they said 2400 bucks. I said, I'm going to pass. Thanks. <laughs> um, went online, and guess what I found? Michelin Pilot Sport. All season. These are not the gummies, the summer tires. These are the all season Pilot Sport. And what I've noticed is um, even when I take a lot of the traction off, like when I'm in uh, uh, track mode or sport and I really hit it, these tires will break loose, but they sure have a hell of a lot more grip than those old Pirellis. And uh, that's why I believe in those uh, Michelin Pilot Sport. If you can catch them on sale online, get those for your wide body. They're by far better <laughs> um, if you have to go on the track and you really want traction then get the summer tires um, they're a little bit more but not that much so I've really enjoyed having this car and the way I came about it was in uh, 2022 a uh, um, I was looking at them and I had a, uh, a Jeep I had a Jeep and when I went in to, to have it appraised, in 2022, the dealers did not have used cars. They were screaming. The whole car market nationally was short on used cars. So uh, I bought the, the Jeep late in the year with a big rebate. And uh, so what I did essentially was I took the Jeep and uh, two years later with 14,000 miles on it, and that dealership gave me what I paid after rebate. Um, so the actual X amount of dollars I had in the Jeep with 14,000 miles, two years on it, and they gave me dollar for dollar what I paid on. I didn't tell them that, um, but that's the way the car market was. 
So they said, you could have this car in one easy cash payment, but we would prefer if you would do them in 36 difficult payments. <laughs> and I said, nah, I'll take the one easy payment, thank you. And I just took advantage of the car market. And, uh, well, in any event. By the way, those new uh, Michelins, I got them at Tire Kingdom on sale, and they were $1,700 uh, installed out the door with the uh, wheel and tire package added on. So anytime for the next three years, 36 months, I can take it to any Tire Kingdom and have them done. They changed name to a different company now, but they still honor it because it was done under them anyway. So There you have it, Mopar fans. Great product. I've had lots of Mustangs. I love them too, but they're not a challenger. These things are a particularly, singularly unique and to their own. Um, especially a Scat, well, especially a Hellcat or a Demon, but for the street, this is a perfect car. You've got a Scat Pack with wide body handling. Mission accomplished. This is God's Garage. Thank you.